Three, two, one. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Panda back in our video. Hope you guys are doing well. I know I am. As I always say on my videos, I hope you guys are doing well during these crazy ass times, and I do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me on the YouTube and on the Twitch lately. If you guys want to see Alpha Chat Giga Gaming gameplay, click the link down in the description. Join the Twitch. Let us see each and every one of you guys there. Let me know what you guys think about TBC so far. I'd love to know. The game just came out, and this is the first video we've made on TBC since it came out, and I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Today, basically, we're going to be covering what to do as an IDS slash COH priest in Gruul's Lair. Tomorrow we'll be covering Magtheridon. Um, I basically just want to keep these videos separate because I want I want them to be bite sized so you guys are able to just watch them very quickly and it wouldn't take like 10 15 minutes. For each of these bosses, we're going to be covering some general knowledge, some things that everybody and healers especially should know going into each of the fights. A lot of you guys may have already done, you know, Gruels or Magtheridon, whatever it may be, or even Karazhan, right? But uh, I, I think that you can always do better. You can always be more efficient. You can always be more fluid. So hopefully this video will help you achieve that. First general knowledge would be like, there are four mini bosses in one big boss. Blind Eye, Ohm, Cross, and Kigler. And then obviously High King Mulgar, the main boss of, of the start. Um, um, Cross should be tanked by a mage, usually going to be paired with a paladin because paladins are actually very good. I would say paladins and uh, IDS priests or maybe deep disc priests um, are actually very good at single target healing. Probably one of the best single target healers there are out there. You know, you're, you're, maybe you're a priest and you were assigned to heal the mage or you're assigned to heal the, the boomkin. Um, keep shields up at all times on them. It just helps with mitigating damage and especially with mages having, you know, mana shield, ice barrier and your power word shield. You know, it just helps out that much more. Obviously, keep renew all at, on them at all times and palm should always be on CD. Um, we're going to move over to Hiking Mulgar. Um, at 50% health, Hiking Mulgar will start randomly charging raid members and casting Intimidating Shout. Um, make sure you fear ward whoever is taking the main boss right for 50%. Um, again, uh, being able to fear ward, maybe you have a Shadow Priest that can do this for you. Uh, if you have a, I, I, that's what we had in, in the footage. We had a, um, a Shadow Priest you know, fear ward for me, so I didn't really have to worry about that. But you definitely don't want to get your tank feared during this phase. 50% phase is actually very important because that's when a lot of the damage is going to be going out um, to your main tanks or any of your melee for, for that matter. Uh, make sure the Mulgar tank is near full health before the boss reaches 50%. The additional damage will come on strong. You know, again, make sure he has the fear word on him. Make sure he is full health with inspiration. Shield him renew and a palm should always be on cooldown throughout all of these fights and any in like the entire game, honestly. <laughs> this is something I like to do and it honestly applies to everybody, um, all healers that is as well. Um, position yourself accordingly where all the tanks are in healing range of you. So as you see in the footage, basically this is where all your caster DPS and all of your heals should be standing kind of in the middle. So I'm able to hit all the tanks and all and, and all the DPS from my vicinity. 90% um, of the time, you know, Panda, when should I be like, when, when should I heal my raid? When should I go out and start healing the raid? Um, my, my answer to this is when the tank that you are assigned to is at full health with full hots on them with inspiration and shield. When they have all of this, then you could go ahead and start translating to a raid healing max rank coh the entire raid if there is raid damage going out um we'll cover more like of a raid damage time uh, on gruels but uh, this fight there shouldn't be too much raid damage going out you should literally just be tunneling you know tunneling your heals into helping other healers on their assigned targets and your assigned target this tip kind of go, goes hand in hand with when should i help other healers basically you know like, like in the fight i was on the mulgar tank basically and i had him with inspiration full health renew palm he did get low sometimes and that is my bad i should have you know made sure he was at full when i did this but that's the that's basically the opportunity to start helping other alleys you know maybe throw a shield on the mage throw a shield on the boob can throw a renew throw a palm just to help out your other healers as much as you can that is basically it for this fight. It's actually very easy. Let's go ahead and move into a, a, a an, an even easier fight, in my opinion. A, a lot of this content's literally trivial. It was a lot more difficult on private servers. And uh, like, like, like my chat was saying, this is baby gruel. He only has 4 million health. You know, your raid only has to do 650 DPS raid wide to down this boss versus private servers where your entire raid had to be doing at least 1k. Again, a lot of you guys have probably done Gruels and Magtheridon already, I mean, maybe even Karazhan already, but uh, I think there's always room for improvement, and that's what I'm here to do. I want you guys to be at peak performance when you're healing, whether you're a priest, whether you're, you know, a paladin, whatever it may be. I want you guys to pump to your fullest extent. 
um right off the bat for gruels before the boss is even pulled have your raid leader mark every single healer so people know what not to stand near um a lot of you know a lot of classic wow players can barely figure out how to right click on mag theradon and wipe the entire raid but uh you know this makes it that much easier so during the shatter phase uh you don't gotta worry you know you spread people know to spread out and not be near you and that is very important you do not if, if you lose a healer early on with you know depending on on your raids gear and your tanks gear and your other healers gear if you lose a healer early on and you don't got to be res maybe it's on cooldown because you you used it on, on the first boss it's a wipe it, it, it's it, it's a wipe one thing you should know 100 i stated it before we even got into this category of this boss um this fight is a dps check again it's i think it's around 650 750 dps raid wide to down this boss um, this fight is a DPS check. Gruul grows in size and gets a 15% increased damage buff every 30 seconds, and it will eventually one-shot your tank if you guys don't have the damage for this boss. Gruul himself will cast Reverberation. Make sure the tank is shielded, renewed with Palm before the silence happens. Again, I literally have it in big bold letters in my, in my notes. Pay attention to DBM. Make sure you know when the silence is going out. Just like everything in TBC right now, Gruels is kind of a, kind of a buggy shit 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 fest, honestly. And uh, the DBM timers aren't really correct. But uh, you know, listen to your raid lead if he's going to call him out, whatever it may be. Make sure that the main tank that is tanking this boss before the silence has full hots from the druid, from you, shield, palm, and renew. That's the most important step and the most crucial step in this fight. I have seen countless, countless priests literally throw the pole just by not doing any of this before the silence. I cannot, you know, I cannot enforce it more at how crucial this is. Um, everyone should avoid AoE damage from Kaven. This damage is affected by Gruul's damage buff and how many stacks he has. This can be useful to kill yourself. More on that later. Yes, I want you guys to kill yourself in the game because it could save you the entire pull. Renu should never fall off the main tank and the off tank. Again, we covered this earlier. Panda, you know, after after shatter or wherever it may be, when should I, when should I, should I, right after shatter, should I start raid healing? No. What you should do is you should top your tank off, spam rank one COH to get, um, to get inspiration on him, top him off, shield renew palm, and then you could translate to the raid healing. Raid healing is literally, my, when I'm healing, raid healing is my least important priority. In Gruels, it being a tank and spank, basically, um, I don't give a, I don't give a fuck about about anybody. I, I only care about my tank and keeping my tank alive during that fight. But again, best time to heal, best time to he start raid healing is when your tanks are topped off and good to go. Um, during shatter phase, spam max rank COH after your tank is topped off though to get rid of, uh, to, to get raid full immediately. Um, if your DPS is low or your guildies are classic Andes and you find yourself, you know, um, towards the end, maybe you don't have shadow fiend up, inner focus isn't up, you don't have any dark runes, mana pots, like everything's on CD, right? You're in, you're in the worst position you could be in. I do this on a lot of fights, like, like in Prince or in this boss, what you need to do is you need to kill yourself. What you do in the footage, I tried doing it, but I couldn't find a goddamn, you know, a cave in that would kill me. And we ended up killing the boss, which was good. But again, only do this if the boss is around five to 10%. I honestly don't see a lot of other priests do this and it, it saved a lot of my runs before. Um, so the reason why I tell you guys to kill yourself is because you become an angel and you can spam heals without any hesitation of mana, pushback, nothing. If you have soul stone on you, go ahead and die and you become an angel, right? And you can spam heals on your tank, spam, 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 and then you die, right? You soul stone back, die again on purpose, spam, spam, spam heals literally that's the initiative i took but thank god i got shadow i had shadow fiend up and that basically you know sealed sealed the pull for us and we ended up killing the boss but this is something you definitely can do let's say a couple healers are dead you need to die and start healing and spam healing this is this is what you should do it's little little tips and tricks i guess for priest but definitely don't forget to do this it could literally save your run but uh, I know this was a short video, boys, and I, I hope you appreciate it. If you have any questions down in the comments, let me know. This content's not hard. It's been around for like 13 years. I've done it. I've, holy hell, I've done I've done gruels more times than I've 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 breathed air. Honestly, um, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave it down in the comments. We'll be covering Mag Third on tomorrow. That one that one should be a little short video, a little bite sized video that you guys can just watch and you know maybe hopefully learn something. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I love each and every one of you. And stay strong during you know anything you may be going through. If you guys want to see Giga Chat Gaming Game. 
gameplay link down in the description join the twitch we're going to be doing gruels and mag as soon as this video is posted so yeah i'll see you in the next video peace